Welcome to Crafts and Minis. Today we're taking a field trip through my workshop where I assemble and paint and just get after the hobby. So this is my workshop, just an overview of it. It is a bit of a mess. I've been in this space just over a year and I have been nesting, which has been fun. Just getting all comfortable in the space, using it for what I want to. And I want to just take you on a tour. Here's my 3D printing station. 3D printer isn't working right now, so not going to focus on that too much. I haven't really gotten into 3D printing a lot. I printed some minis and I can see the potential there, but it's a hobby in and of itself. The next thing is my assembly desk that has different projects and plastic boxes on top of it. So the assembly desk is where I assemble and convert minis. <laughs> um, there are different projects, of course, on the table at this point. I've got a lot of sci-fi going on that I was doing about a year ago that I still haven't gotten back after. But I, of course, have fantasy stuff, too. These are orcs from the board game Myth, formerly of Megacon Games, which I'm converting up. I love to convert minis, by the way. It is part of the joy of this hobby. And each one of these boxes is uh, a different project. So what's really cool is this shelving is really cheap on Amazon and it's for shoe boxes. So if you want to use this same type of method, you got plastic shoe boxes that you want to put on shelves on your desk or somewhere else. Those shoe box shelves are great. I wanted to show you two. I've got primed minis ready to be painted. I've got more of those over here as well. And I've got a lot on the windowsill that you'll see. Now, yes, that's a Battlemasters box. And if you know about that game, you uh, know how many minis are in there, which is a ton. And uh, I've been collecting a lot of Battlemasters minis to use with Kings of War. The rest of these boxes are all storage for minis. I have a problem. Then there's the painting desk. Now, the painting desk, I want to spend just a little more time on. And you see all the minis on the windowsill. Those are just some primed minis ready for some attention. Um, I have a whole bunch of different paints, and not all the paints I have are out on the desk. It's just the ones I use um, that I wanted close by. Um, I also have a bunch of Army Painter paints, Reaper Master Series paints, Vallejo game and model color paints, of course, all the good stuff. But these are the paints that I've been trying out lately, so I, they get a spot on the shelf. And these shelves are for nail polish. So they're nail polish shells that you can get on Amazon, and I really like them. So let's start over here. This is my new favorite paint range, Pro Acryl from Monument Hobbies. It is a good time, and my local game store carries it, so I support the friendly local game store and pick up Monument Hobbies Pro Acryl paint. Half the line's right there about, and then the rest of the line is in that bag. Just pick that up. Now, I've seen different miniature painters on um, YouTube talk about acrylic gouache. And uh, I wanted to try it out, so I bought some of Vallejo's acrylic gouache, and so far so good. I mean, gouache basically means, from what I understand, like a super matte paint, so that's a good time. In the corner, I've got different mediums. Yeah, you see some future floor wax about th back there. You know, that's the poor man's um, clear coat to varnish with. Um, I've got different primers, different uh, washes back there as well. One of the washes that I want to point out to you that I use all the time is this Vallejo Game Color Wash. So back when it was real popular to do the dip method for your minis, like Army Painter came out with their cans of dip for your minis just to dip them in and give them shading that way. Um, Vallejo came out with theirs, and I love to use it as a wash, which that's why a lot of my old videos with minis, I used it all the time. Now I don't use it quite as much. You see them uh, really brown, so they were very brown at the time. Okay, this next range of paints are three ranges into one because they're all from the same manufacturer, I believe, in the United Kingdom. There's P3 paints from Privateer Press, Formula P3, which I like. I've been using those for a ton uh, of years. Um, yeah, they're solid paints. Um, and then there's Coat to Arms paints. Coat to Arms is the original manufacturer for Games Workshop's Citadel Color Paints, which, yes, this bubonic brown does still work. It is still one of my go-tos. And uh, this is a fun line 
um, of paints because there's a lot of various colors just like there are in all the big lines but I just like how the paint consistency is with these and uh, you can put them on a palette when you transfer with a brush yeah they don't have a dropper bottle which that would be nice because I have noticed that on some of my older p3 paints um, that I've had for just years and years and years when I try to pop them open sometimes the lid cracks a little bit now it still has a good seal on the paint so it's not going to dry out on me but it's not the best bottle. It's not the best lids, but that's okay. If you really wanted to, you could spend time transforming them into dropper bottles, but who's got that amount of time? Now you get to see some inks and some washes. Um, I have inks from all over the place, Liquitex. I have my FW inks that I use more than Liquitex underneath the desk. They just don't fit nicely on a nail polish shelf. Um, and then I've got all these washes from Vallejo, from Secret Weapon, um, inks from Army Painter and washes from Army Painter, um, and then Scale 75 inks, which are great. And of course, Games Workshop inks. Um, there's some oil paint. I've started getting into oil washes, which is a good time. I've got this brand of paint over here called Derivan, which was made for minis. So I got that on clearance because the line was ceasing to be produced, which is not the best move when it comes to miniatures paint, because either you're going to use it up and you can't replace it and you're going to want a color match later and it's never going to be exact if you're doing an army or something like that, or like me, you just don't use it that much because you don't want to use up what you can't replace. So there you go. Here are my Scale 75 paints. I got this uh, organizer just recently on Amazon because I knew I had a bunch of Scale 75 paint that I wanted up and usable quickly. And I didn't know how many bottles I had, but hey, I came really close. I just have one extra spot for all my Scale 75 stuff. But yeah, this is my painting table. Um, I love it. I've been using these tables for years now and they've uh, gone through a couple moves with me, which is awesome. Um, this is a game changer. This is a Vortex mixer. And uh, you put the paint on there. And you see, if there's an agitator in the paint, it works really, really well. And that has saved my old paints. I'm just going to say, that is worth the investment. Um, you can get it on Amazon, and oh my goodness, it is worth the investment. Underneath, you see a whole bunch of storage for paints and mediums and all sorts of good stuff. Yes, that's an airbrush compressor. Yes, those are airbrushes. No, I haven't set it up yet. I haven't really gotten into airbrushing a ton, but with my Kings of War armies, when I'm getting into more armies and want to base coat them easier, I'm going to do some airbrushing, hopefully. The rest of this room has amazing storage. Well, amazing, it has shelves. <laughs> and then I got a workbench that was built for me. But now you see the reason that I was away from the hobby for at least part of uh, the time I've been away. And that was in the last year. Plus I got into magic, the gathering. I'm just showing the workbench off here. It's about a four and a half foot by six foot workbench. And that's been crazy. Magic has sucked up a uh, budget. It sucked up time. It's been fun to play commander. If you know anything about magic, commander is a lot of fun. Um, but it has taken me away from the painting and the hobby. And I have a ton of minis in all of these boxes too. So I really want to get after it. But the magic cards are on the workbench. Those need to be put away. I finally did get boxes to put them away. So I'll be doing that. But this is my space. It's my workshop. And it's where I have a really good time. And yeah, I'm blessed to have a dedicated space. If you have one too, you know, um, it takes away that excuse of having to set stuff up um, before you paint or work on your stuff every time. That just takes away that excuse of, oh, I can't set it up today. I, got, I don't have time or whatever. It's just so much easier to come down here and do it. So yeah, that's my space. Hope you enjoyed. I'll take you on a tour later someday to show you when it might be better organized or if I make any major changes. But today I just wanted a little inspiration for you and to explain why I'd been away with the Magic the Gathering. But I just hope you are having an awesome day and I want you to go and get after that hobby.